Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today I want to take a look at a stylus, uh, the Wacom Bamboo Feel Stylus. Uh, this is a basically a replacement pen uh, or just a pen that you can use on your tablet, uh, your Wacom enabled tablet, like your uh, Galaxy Note right here. It says basically it's for the Galaxy Note series. Uh, I would imagine it also works for the Surface series or any uh, uh, Wacom pinnable or feel it technology enabled uh, uh, tablet. So let's take a look at what this thing is. Now, this is the $30 one. Uh, this is a bit more palatable. Uh, the There is one called the Carbon, which is $80. And I did not opt for that one because, well, $80 is a bit more expensive. So maybe if I like it that much, we'll go from there. I know that the, the Carbon weighs in at 28 grams and this one weighs in at 18 so, so let's take a look at what we got all right opening it up this way all right we got some stuff at the bottom all right so we have some some manuals here uh if i they tell you how to basically change the tips the tips are replaceable like a lot of other more um traditional uh styli or digitizers from wacom uh looks like this is a, another uh that's probably a warranty thing in multiple different languages and uh there's a let's see what is this one another one uh some more thin documentation for something so let's put that to the side all right so what we got here is a bag here with uh two additional nibs or tips and the uh if you've used wacom stuff before this is your typical uh basically it's a little metal ring that's a basically a nib puller or a tip puller so you can change the tips if they get worn or you need a replacement other than that looking at the pen right here so so this is a uh, this is it right here I, got, I opted for the white one it comes in black as well uh basically it uh has a cover that comes right off and so it's pocketable uh let's see so or you can see from here it's got uh, a button here a top button and you see the, the the tip is there um it's not a smooth uh, material it's kind of like uh it's a little bit of, it's got a textured feel to it which is kind of nice uh let's take a look and see if um well my uh on my note three for example here's a traditional stylus that comes with it so you can see that uh this is going to be a lot more comfortable to hold for lengthy sessions than to kind of grasp at this thing because i constantly tap this stupid little button up on top uh, a lot of times as, as i'm doing things it's so easy to do so this one probably won't be so much because it is much more like a regular pen so all right i'm not gonna i haven't done anything with it yet so uh so as like i said i just unboxed it i'm gonna basically uh grab a couple of devices and we'll try it out and see what it see what uh see what it's like and is and if it's worth your thirty dollars so i'll be right back okay so uh, now that i've unboxed the uh, bamboo feel stylus uh, for the Samsung Galaxy. Uh, let's take a look at it in action here. So, once again, we'll take a look at the at the pen. As you can see, it's basically it's a matte finish for the pen. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's I'm not sure exactly what material. It's probably plastic, but uh, it's got uh, a metal clip. It's a metal clip here uh, that you, that you have, and I suppose it's removable. You can put, take it off if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it on. And um, basically, you know, they, they they Wacom says they've designed this for the the well for the for the galaxy samsung galaxy line of tablets and so i have here my my note pro and we'll just take a look and just want to compare it to the uh, uh what, what the normal offering uh that that you would get and um let me turn this off so that you can uh, see it better so as you can see um it's quite a bit thicker than the standard s pen uh, so for prolonged usage, I mean, this is not a terrible pen, uh, but you know, it's obviously a little on the thin side uh, But then this is more more like a real pen. So we'll open it up flip it around And you can see that well, it behaves just like a regular pen and you know, I want to compare the the, the tip sizes here uh, and the way the uh, the thickness of the device uh, So obviously it, it is a, a bit more comfortable for prolonged usage versus the a bit more toothpicky feel the, of the standard s pen uh so once again there's there's the top button is also on on the s pen if you, you know, over here and there is a same top button over here as well it's it's very flush to to the uh to the pen so sometimes it's kind of hard to get a feel for exactly where it's at so uh you can leave it on the thumb side if you want to if you, more, if you prefer it that way or flip it around so let's let's go into some drawing programs and let's kind of uh go take a look see. 
and uh, I have an S note here. I was kind of goofing around earlier from my, one of my other videos. So uh, actually, we won't use S note. We'll go right into a paint program, Sketchbook Pro. So as far as tracking goes, as you can see, uh, you, know, you you do still see the the pointer tracks pretty well. Uh, there's not a whole lot of glide, but you know, with, as with all walk-on pens, there's a little bit of latency behind it. So that's something that you have to account for. So I'll just use the pencil tool here, pick to pick a pick a little black color to start going with, and we'll start start sketching. So. So now comparison, say using the the S Pen that comes with it, it feels pretty much exactly the same, uh, but obviously it's a bit more comfort involved in uh, having a larger pen. So it's a nice option. Now this version I, I picked up is uh, the, I guess they have two versions, Wacom makes two versions. There's the carbon version and there's, I guess, the regular version. Uh, this one re retails for about forty dollars, and the carbon version retails for about eighty. Supposedly that one's a little bit heavier. This is about eighteen grams, so it's not very heavy at all. Uh, the other one is a bit heavier, and um, well, obviously more expensive. So uh, this is, you know, it's it, if for someone who's looking for uh, a better pen experience that's geared toward towards this, um, this is a, a pretty nice choice. We don't have a whole lot of choices, unfortunately, because uh, the because even though the surface pens will work on here uh the, the the problem is that there's no way to really i haven't found a way to some people have said that that if you kind of swirl it around the, in the in the corners it'll it'll um basically align uh, it'll calibrate the the pen display the pen to the display i haven't seen that so for example some of my other pens from my other wacom devices um such as my surface pen won't work on here uh or it, it, it will work but it doesn't track to the right cursor position and I haven't been able to figure out how to how to uh, calibrate it. And some folks have said you can, like I said, but I have not been able to find a way to do that. So now the thing about it as well is that this doesn't have, you're not really limited to just this. So the nice thing is that, for example, if you have a Surface tablet, which I will bring out in a moment, actually I will do so, I will be right back. Here, so here's my, my Surface Pro, my first original Surface Pro. And this is the S Pen, that, this is the S Pen, sorry, this is the Wacom Pen that comes with it. And so if I were to use it on, on this device, on here you'll see what i mean by basically having a not track so you notice notice the, the cursor position is completely off even if it's not if i'm on the screen it's it's just not there so and if you hold, hold it straight on you're fine that's not a problem but most people don't draw straight on i've never seen anybody, anybody draw with a pencil straight on usually you're kind of at a comfortable angle like this and well you're not really in the right position so unfortunately you couldn't use one of these um so but using it on say on my Surface Pro, for example, so it's over here. And I can see that the cursor position for this tool, which is the wrong tool, is uh, is not bad. It's it's actually almost right on. And and if it, even if it wasn't, the for the fact that it's Windows is I is it has the ability for me to calibrate it, which is kind of kind of nice. So this actually is is, is is this this is very serviceable serviceable even on a Surface Pro. Uh, it will it'll work just fine with it and if you need to like the surface pro doesn't have it have the problem of just calibrating it by tapping the corners with the calibration component in the control panels and you're off and ready to go to do art on the surface pro so, so there you have it so there's take a look that's a good look at the the um, at the Wacom where's it oops sorry I get lost all these different powers power settings so here you have it so as, a, as a look at the bamboo feel um, pen for you know basically for the samsung uh, line of tablets but as i as i've shown you here it's uh, something you can also use on a wacom enabled uh penable or feel it uh, enabled uh windows tablet thanks for watching